YouTube, Dawson Rider here with a review for Fours Module Change Series, uh, Fours A Base States. Uh, this is the evolution of the line that basically started with Decade's Final Form Ride and then moved to Doubles, WFC for W, Form Change, and O's, OCC, uh, OOS, yeah, OCC, OOS Combo Change, and this one is Fours A Module Change to change different modules. Um, I actually collected most of the O's ones, and I just haven't gotten around to posting them, so sorry about that. But anyway, I decided to at least pick up this first one because I kind of dig Forze's suit now, and I just wanted a figure out of him to play around with. So let's just take a look at the box. Pretty much basic style for this uh, line of figures. You got a figured picture of him right here, probably something to the effect of four different modules. Um, in the box, here's where he was, and then you get the rocket module, drill module, launcher module, and radar module on the side. It shows him using some of the various modules, got the logos, same deal over here. In the top, FMC Series 01, uh, logo of the series here. It's all white and orange and stuff, and gray, it's all very uh, reminiscent or, yeah, of his packaging. And on the back here, it shows the cool stuff you can do with him, him being all epic, and the different modules. And then it shows the other modules that are going to come with the next, or one, and then the other ones are all shaded. They come with the next one in the series. I always thought it was funny that like this one and then when O was released, they're like, oh my god, this is an exciting figure, the playability to mix and match, but then you only have like the one figure for like a month at least. So I feel like they should just release two of them at a time for more fun. So you get his four first main modules. The rocket module, which is actually not bad painted, it's, I mean these are pretty basic painted anyway, but it's all orange and then you got the black um, thrusters back here. Um, his other arm switch, radar. It's all black with just the white here and the satellite silver here. Um, no like screen or anything there, but you can move it out like this. Um, then you got his drill module, which is basically just all yellow and silver here. And then his launcher module, which is all blue with just some black and then the white uh, rockets. And then one thing cool about this one is you can actually shoot rockets. That's the first two, and you actually get four of them in like a little model kit thing like this, which is good because I tend to lose these type of things. So you put these in, and then you press this button on top, and it embarrasses you on camera. There you go. There they go. So they shoot out. Um, let's see if I can't find the other one. There we go. And then they just secure in. So that's cool. So let's go ahead and take a look at the figure. Um, so like I said, I wanted one of these to play around with and just kind of see what the quality was like. But one of my main selling points of actually picking this up, because um, I think the O's combo had some better going for it, is this one actually has compound eyes which is really cool. So this figure actually isn't half bad. Like th this line is actually in general not half bad. Uh, the paint on him, like I said, it's pretty basic. It's just white with the black strap and then the strap strip and then the black here on his face. And then he's got the orange compound eyes which are actually really well done. My only complaint is on mine. I have this like weird scratch splotch here that I can't seem to get off. Um, but then he's got his kind of clear antennae here. But his face looks really good and I enjoy the compound eyes on this figure. It makes it seem a lot higher quality. Um, his chest here is basically all white. You get this sort of glittery orange paint here in silver. His arm is just black and silver. Um, here is his PlayStation circle button. Orange, square button, black. Um, his belt here is one of the drawbacks of this. is not painted at all really. It's just kind of this weird metallic blue. Uh, but you can actually see the individual switches are molded up here for this one, which is kind of neat. Um, and then just white legs with a black and orange strip. And then you've got his X and triangle buttons down here. On the back, not a whole lot to tell or to talk about. Um, 360 movement here on his arm. Or not, I guess it is 360. It's like kind of odd because it's like not a ball joint. It moves around like this and then moves in these sections. You got swiveling here. You've got a whoa! I just totally turned that around. A single elbow joint here, swiveling at the fist, and then you actually have this old school like Sochaku Henshin stuff going on here, where you can just move these figures and fingers, fingers individually. Uh, swiveling at the waist, 360 articulation here, swiveling, single knee joint, um, it's actually rather tight. Um, and then you got his foot kind of on a ball joint to move up and back and stuff, no toe action. 360 head articulation up and down, so pretty well articulated, certainly more than a lot of PR figures, but just shy of figure arts. Um, I'm trying to find a good figure art to compare him with really quick. Uh, that's around here, and uh, actually the one I have closest to me that makes more, most sense is Kazari, and he's actually taller than him because of his head, 
But these actually come in scale with figures, which is cool because the final form rides started off so small and they just kind of gradually went up. The OCCs actually compared to figure arts quite well. And these do as well, and actually I believe them to be quite a nice stand-in. Like, the details are not bad, considering Forza is pretty basic. It's just really the belt, and he's got the compound eyes. The figure has no loose joint problems. Some of my OCCs had a little bit of uh, loose joint problems, no loose joint problems, so it's really cool. Uh, let's just do the modules quick now. So, it acts on a sliding mechanism, basically. So you have to line it up and slide it in. Then you got rocket module. It's all rocket on stuff, which is pretty badass. I have to admit, you shoot at someone with a rocket, um, or punch someone with a rocket. Um, and then here we have radar. Oops. Damn it! I can't remember which way it goes. It goes this way. There we go. Radar. So now, like new Ankh can call him and be like, "Oh, hey, you're not doing it right." And then you can push it out like that. There we go. And then drill. Um, this one, you actually really can't do by itself. I like to take his foot down. You can't really do much. Like, you can maybe try to do that bending thing where he's like this, but it doesn't really come off very well. I guess, like, that's okay-ish. But, yeah. So, drill, he's all, like, kick and stuff. Um, there we go. And then his... I almost said canyon. Cannon. Slides right on. There you go. And you can set him down. And you can kind of reach him over a little bit to grab this. So that's really cool. Um, I can definitely see the playability in these. I think the O's had a little bit more of a fun factor just because you could make so many different forms just sitting there bored. But I can definitely see how these can be fun when you, especially when you have more module changes. Now it's, it took me so long to get my hands on this that like it was like maybe a week or two weeks before that, that I actually got this bought in by my good friend Shukun Shinobi. Um, that uh, they announced the figure art, and the figure art is going to have, I believe, rocket and drill, and then you can buy different module packs. And the figure arts are usually always better, like, I can guarantee you that the details will be better on it, but <laughs> the joints might be looser. I'm not going to say they're going to be, but there's been a history in the last few years of the current rider figure arts that come out having some QC issues. But so, um, as a figure, I'd say it's actually quite a solid figure. I'm glad I have it. I think it looks good on the shelf. The modules are kind of fun to play around with. If you get more of them, they can be even more fun to just play around with. So it's a good playability figure, similar to the OCC, not quite as fun. It's a definitely a solid figure, but if you're if, if you're for the details, um, for just a little bit more money, I would wait for the figure art. Um, it's just so close to when it come out comes out. But if you absolutely can't wait and you want to have a Forza figure that's not a vinyl, then by all means go ahead and pick it up. It's a very solid figure. I'm glad I have it. It's just kind of neat to have. Um, so anyway, until next time, make sure you check out RidersRangeRambles.com for token news in the craziest way possible. While you're there, check out the Ram boards to discuss Forza or anything token or nerd related. And then, of course, check out the crazy podcast that started it all. Until next time, Dawson Rider, signing out.